My beloved child, have you taken a moment today to pause and reflect on the precious gift of life that I have bestowed upon you? Each new day presents itself as a blank canvas filled with endless possibilities, a testament to my ceaseless care and love for you. Expressing gratitude is not merely a simple act, it is profound and transformative. It involves opening your heart and allowing your words to flow freely. Gratitude. I must remind you, is the music of the soul, and your words are its melody. I know you intimately, understanding your needs even before they are formed into words. Like a shepherd knows his flock, I know you. Trust is the bridge between your heart and mine. When you cross it with faith, you find the assurance and peace that only I can provide. Come, spend a moment of tranquility with me. Seek a moment of silence and reflect upon all the reasons for which you can give thanks on this day, your life, your family, your health, the very air you breathe, the sustenance on your table, and the shelter above your head, not to mention the supernatural protection around your home. Indeed, there are countless reasons for you to feel blessed. Abundant motives to embrace life daily, to fill your mind with virtuous thoughts, and to keep your eyes open perceiving my benevolence along your path. I assure you of the safety held within my grasp. I dwell within a grateful heart, one that recognizes its dependence on me, one that seeks me out with faith and hope, knowing it is truly blessed. Sometime, I see you troubled by the events that unfold, but this is normal. Don't worry excessively. Your responsibilities weigh on you because of your desire for everything to turn out well for provision in your home, for health within your family. You hope that nothing and no one will disrupt the peace and stability you all require. However, there are also dark days when your gratitude wanes and the adversary whispers impure thoughts into your mind, turning your worries into fear, surrounding you with lies, transforming fear into anxiety and despair. I watch and wait for you to raise your arms high and utter those words that will make the enemy flee. Give thanks to me for your life, your family, your health, and all that you are and have. Your sincere faith and grateful heart are shields that keep you strengthened during moments of trial. When you pass through the fires of affliction, I will be there waiting beside your bed, eager to hear your first words of the day emerging from the depths of your thankful soul saying, Thank you, thank you, thank you for life. Seek me and receive my peace. Come and call upon me day and night without ceasing, maintaining your attitude of faith and hope when you approach me, firmly believing that I am real and that I will respond, for it pleases me. Perhaps things haven't unfolded as you expected, but you must trust in me once more with your whole being. I am orchestrating many things to usher blessings into your family and home. If you believe, you have lost material possessions. Ponder it deeply. Your life rests in my hands, and I desire your well-being, growth, and the strengthening of your faith. I will restore to you those things you think you have lost, and they will return even more magnificent than before, exceeding your initial requests. Therefore, there is no need to be distressed or weep over what you lack today. Focus on loving me, loving your family, fulfilling my will, and awaiting with faith the blessings that are on their way. Material things come and go. Do not let your soul grieve. Nothing is truly lost that the enemy has taken from you, and many other beautiful things from your past will return even greater than before. Give me your heart now. I want to grant you the peace your soul yearns for, but you must rest both your body and soul in me. Entrust to me those troubling thoughts that keep you awake at night. Your future is not uncertain. I hear you when you weep at night and ask how you will overcome amidst this crisis. I respond, you will overcome with your faith. Your faith has grown strong, align yourself with me. Your faith in my promises is sufficient for you to walk on water and for miracles to occur in your life. You need not fear anything or anyone. Each morning when you arise, 
Fill yourself with courage and strength. You are brave, and your faith is substantial. I place this gleaming sword in your hands. Feel it. This is my word in which you have placed so much trust. Use it from today onward when you face difficulties. I will also stand by your side, fighting alongside you. I love you. And today I will bestow upon you the peace you seek. You will receive the serenity you so desperately need. I also wish for you to calm yourself a little. Do not wander about carrying your anxiety on your back. With a knot in your throat and clouded thoughts, it is essential for your mind, your soul, and your entire life that you surrender those negative emotions to me today. If you do not give me your fear, anger, irritation, and frustration, you are opening the door to great distress. I understand your concern for material things, your financial situation, and your uncertain future. You worry about your health. Instead of conversing with me each night and morning, you turn your thoughts towards so many things. Yet, what most troubles your mind is your family situation. And it is natural. It affects you deeply. It is an emotion that pains you. But put a stop to it right now. Do not allow your heart to sink. Speak to those emotions, to the conflicts, and to the situations with faith and determination. Declare, my God is with me as a mighty giant. I have decided not to fear whatever my enemies may do. Repeat it, my child. Around you, there are many warrior angels ready for battle, ready to stand in form and raise their swords as soon as they receive the word. But I need to see your faith. I need to see that by your own choice. You exert effort to believe. I cannot give the signal for my armies to form around you and escort you to a better place if you are not yet prepared to face greater challenges. I hold in my hands numerous blessings for you, but I cannot bestow them until you surrender all those emotions to me. I desire to elevate you to a level where you must exercise your living and active faith. I wish to surround you with my divine blessing. Surrender your entire life to me. Do not retain anything. I will forgive your sins. Your past will be left behind. I will cleanse your feelings and motivations. I will remove all that is wrong and cast it into the depths of the sea. It is time for your family and you to be blessed with harmony, peace, and healing. I calm your soul with peace and hope. Satisfy your being with joy and unwavering confidence. I am giving you strength and perseverance. This is the day of your blessing. My child, receive it with faith and humility. Accept it without hesitation, without doubt. I am speaking directly to your spirit, dispelling your sadness and ending your distress. Do not hide from me what you feel. Forget about the struggles of this life for a moment. Supernaturally, let my divine love embrace you. I will never cease reminding you of how much I love you, of the beautiful moments we shared when I answered your prayers, even when you didn't expect to receive so many blessings. I've already shown you my love, so you would believe and not doubt. As long as you continue to believe in my word and persist in prayer, day and night, or in the early hours of the morning, many doors will open, many problems will vanish, your enemies will be defeated. Your sadness will cease. And many things in your life will change. I will always have a better future in store for you. Even when the world around you appears to be trembling. Even when you see many giving up on their dreams and their faith. Persevere in my word and never stop believing. Trust in me when everything is going well. And continue trusting even more when things become complicated. I am writing my promise on your heart, so you will never forget it. I will be with you every day, whether it rains or grows cold. You are always under my care and protection. Today, I want to bring a smile to your face. I wish to take away your discouragement and fill your heart with joy, with holy and unbreakable happiness. I am the reason you open your eyes and live. I am the path you will walk. I am the way you will journey. I am the door through which you will enter. I am your friend, 
your companion, your God, and your shepherd. You shall not want for anything. Tell me that you believe in the stillness of this moment. Let your heart find solace in my words. Like a gentle stream they flow to you, carrying with them the essence of my unending love and boundless mercy. Let each syllable resonate within, a soothing balm to your weary soul. Remember, amidst the tumult of life, my presence is an unshakable fortress. Amidst uncertainty, my words are your anchor. Like the stars that punctuate the night sky, my promises to you are constant and true. In every season of doubt, in every hour of need, I am there. My love for you does not waver. It is as steadfast as the mountains, as enduring as the endless sky. As you walk through the valleys of life, know that my hand guides you. Each step you take is a step towards a future I have lovingly crafted. In moments of joy, my heart rejoices with you. In times of sorrow, my arms are open to comfort you. Like a shepherd leading his flock, I guide you towards pastures green and waters still. Do not fear the shadows, for they cannot diminish the light I shine upon your path. With each challenge, you grow stronger, your faith firmer, your spirit more resilient. Like a tree planted by streams of water, you will flourish, your leaves never withering, your fruit abundant. In the quiet of your heart, listen for my voice. It whispers of hope, of a love that transcends all understanding. It speaks of a future filled with promise, a destiny rich with possibility. In this sacred space, let my words envelop you, filling you with peace and strength. Come to me with your burdens, and I will give you rest. Trust in me with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me, and I will make your paths straight. Remember, stepping out in faith, even onto seemingly precarious grounds, is where true safety lies when it is I who lead you there. Your yearning for a life devoid of risk, understandable as it may be, is, in its essence, a form of unbelief, a reluctance to trust in the path I have laid out for you. Your deep longing to live in close communion with me is noble. Yet it stands in contrast to your efforts to shield yourself from all uncertainties. Life with me is not a journey of comfort zones and predictable paths. It is an adventure filled with moments that demand courage and faith. You are now at a pivotal crossroad in your spiritual walk. To follow me with all your heart, you must surrender this inclination to seek constant safety. Let me lead you, step by tender step, through each day. When your focus is steadfastly on me, even the most treacherous of paths can be navigated without fear. In time, you will learn to relax in this journey, to find joy in the adventure we share. The key is to remain close to me, for in my sovereign presence, you will find protection and peace, no matter where our journey leads. My presence is a shield that surrounds you, a constant guardian in every step you take. As you venture forth, do not let fear dictate your steps. Instead, let faith and trust in my guidance be your compass. The paths I lead you on may at times seem daunting, but remember, they are always under my watchful eye. Step out in faith. Embrace the adventure of a life lived in full trust in me. For in my presence, there is fullness of joy and on the paths I lead you. There is peace that surpasses all understanding. As you journey alongside me, let the radiant hope of heaven illuminate your path, casting a divine light on your perspective. This light, born of eternal love and grace, serves as a reminder that you are indeed one of my chosen, belonging wholly to me. I have called you from the shadows into the brilliance of my wonderful light, a testament to my unending love for you. Embrace this profound truth. Before the world was formed, I chose you. Such a choice signifies that nothing in this world, no trial or tribulation, can ever sever the bond that unites you with me. You are eternally mine. 
drawn out of the darkness of sin and into the resplendent light of eternal life. The luminosity of my presence serves you in myriad ways. It is in the closeness of our relationship that your path becomes clear, where the steps ahead are illuminated by my guiding light. As you bask in this love-drenched light, feel the strength I impart to you and the peace that flows like a gentle stream into your soul. This radiance that blesses you is not solely for your benefit. As it permeates your being, it extends outward, touching others around you. The time spent in my presence, focusing on me, shapes you increasingly into my likeness, empowering you to be a beacon of light in the lives of others. Continually, I am drawing my beloved out of the shadows into the glorious radiance of my light. Understand this, in every moment of darkness, I am there, extending my hand to lead you back into the warmth and safety of my luminous presence. Your life, a journey from darkness into divine light, is a testament to my unyielding love and unwavering commitment to you. Gratitude is not just an emotion, it's a choice, a deliberate opening of the heart to my presence. Though I am forever with you, I deeply honor your freedom to choose. Between us lies a door, a passage that you have the power to open or close. Among the many keys to this door, gratitude stands as one of the most potent. This practice of thankfulness is deeply rooted in trust. Challenge yourself to acknowledge and thank me daily. This constant recognition will heighten your awareness of the countless blessings surrounding you, even in the most ordinary moments. Moreover, this practice will serve as a buffer, softening the blows of life's trials and tribulations. To practice thankfulness is to practice being in my presence. It's a discipline that not only brings you closer to me, but also transforms your perspective, enabling you to see the world through the lens of divine grace. In gratitude, the mundane becomes miraculous and the burdens become bearable. Let gratitude be your continual offering in every situation. Look for reasons to be thankful, for in doing so, you open wide the door to my presence, where you'll find an abundance of peace, joy, and love. A grateful heart is a fortress against despair, a beacon in the night that guides you back to hope. It is in this state of thankfulness that you truly experience the fullness of my joy and peace. So. I invite you in the quiet moments of reflection and the bustling hours of the day to look around and within, to find reasons to be grateful in doing so. You align yourself with the rhythm of my grace, and you'll discover the countless ways I am working in and through your life. Gratitude, a simple yet profound act, is the thread that weaves together the moments of joy and sorrow creating a masterpiece of grace and beauty. It is the lens through which the world transforms from ordinary to extraordinary. A heart's response that sees beyond the immediate, recognizing the broader strokes of my hand at work. When gratitude fills your heart, it alters your perspective, turning what was once mundane into a celebration of blessings. Each sunrise becomes a canvas of my love, each interaction a dance of my grace, in moments of abundance, gratitude magnifies joy, and in times of scarcity, it brings forth the hidden treasures of contentment and peace. So, let gratitude be your constant companion, reminding you of my unceasing presence and unwavering love. As you practice this sacred art of gratitude, you'll find that it not only opens the door to my presence, but also ushers in a profound sense of peace. Gratitude is not merely a feeling to be experienced, but a discipline to be cultivated in the garden of your heart. Let thankfulness grow like a robust vine, entwining around every circumstance, whether in times of plenty or in want. Let gratitude be your guide, leading you ever closer to me, the source of all blessings. For in my presence, there is fullness of joy. And in the paths I lead you, there is peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen.